After I installed Windows 11 on my PC, I noticed that my SSD and HDD were performing very poorly. The write speeds were much lower than they should be, especially on the C drive where Windows 11 was installed. I also experienced frequent crashes, freezes, and blue screens of death. I was very frustrated and worried that Windows 11 had ruined my SSD and HDD. I decided to look for some solutions online and from experts. I found out that the problem was caused by a bug in Windows 11 that enabled the NTFS USN journal on the C drive. The USN journal is a feature that records changes to files and folders on a drive. It is useful for backup and recovery purposes but it also consumes a lot of disk space and resources. The USN journal was not supposed to be enabled on the C drive by default, but Windows 11 did so anyway. The first thing I tried was to disable the USN journal manually using the command prompt. I opened the command prompt as an administrator and typed this command, sudo usn delete journal slash dc. This command deletes the USN journal on the C drive and frees up some disk space. However, this did not solve the problem completely. The write speeds were still slow and the USN journal would reappear after a reboot. The next thing I tried was to check and repair any errors on my SSD and HDD using the built-in check disk tool on Windows 11. I opened File Explorer and right-clicked on the C drive. I selected Properties and then clicked on the Tools tab. Under the Error Checking section, I clicked on Check and then Scan Drive. This tool scanned the integrity of the file system on the C drive and repaired any logical errors. I repeated this process for my other drives as well. This helped a bit, but it did not fix the bad sectors or physical problems on my drives. To do that, I had to use another command in the command prompt, checkdisk slash rc. This command checks for bad sectors on the C drive and tries to recover any readable information from them. It also runs the slash F option, which fixes errors on the disk. I had to type Y and press enter to schedule the skin during the next restart. I did this for my other drives too. After I restarted my PC, I noticed some improvement in the performance of my SSD and HDD. The write speeds were faster and the crashes were less frequent. However, they were still not as good as they used to be before Windows 11. The final thing I tried was to update Windows 11 to the latest version that fixed the USN journal bug. Microsoft released a preview update KB5007262 in December 2021 that addressed this issue. However, this update was not available for everyone at that time. It was only for Windows insiders who signed up for testing new features and updates before they are released to the public. I decided to join the Windows Insider program and get this update as soon as possible. I opened Settings and clicked on Update and Security. Then I clicked on Windows Insider program and followed the instructions to enroll my PC in the dev channel. This channel receives updates more frequently than other channels, but it also has more bugs and risks. After I enrolled in the Windows Insider program, I checked for updates again and found KB5007262 available for download. I downloaded and installed this update without any problems. After I restarted my PC, I checked my SSD and HDD again using CrystalDiskInfo, a utility that shows smart data and health status of storage devices. To my relief, CrystalDiskInfo showed that my SSD and HDD were in good condition with no errors or bad sectors. The write speeds were back to normal and there were no more crashes or freezes. The USN journal was also disabled on all my drives by default. I was very happy that Windows 11 did not ruin my SSD and HDD after all. It was just a temporary bug that was fixed by Microsoft in a timely manner. However, I learned a valuable lesson from this experience. Always back up your data before installing a new operating system or update.